Ihr des Abends und begrüßen auf der Bühne einen mehrfachen Halbfinalisten auf der Challenge Tour aus England, Stone Cold Jason Wilson. es zu tun mit der aktuellen Nummer 19 der Welt. Vor zwei Jahren stand er hier in Leverkusen auf dem zweiten Platz. Er ist der Gewinner von sechs Players' Championship Events, war Zweiter beim World Grand Prix und bei der Premier League. Er ist der World Masters Champion von 2004 aus England, The King, Marvin King. Between Jason Wilson and Mervyn King, the man who beat Michael Van Gerwen famously at the UK Open earlier on in the month. We've seen some thrilling matches already tonight, not least the last one between Nico Kurtz and Kim Hybrick. Kurtz missing match darts before going out 6-5 to the Belgian. That's one of two last leg deciders already tonight. Matt Edgar beaten by Christoph Rataishki in leg 11. And Jeffrey Desvan saw off Josh Payne with ease, 6 to 1 in between. And Mervyn King Paul has already found something not quite to his liking, it seems, up on that stage. A bit of a perfectionist, let's put it that way. I know Mervyn very well, and he has graced our commentary box on many occasions. But he is a bit of a perfectionist, not just at darts. And that's one of the reasons why he's, he's been so successful, because he's very particular with his preparation and his equipment and how he approaches every match he's the same with his golf stuff and how he goes about you know his life with his motorbikes and things like that it's just who he is but funnily enough you just mentioned that mvg thing with the uk open winner of this one plays mvg yes a chance to get revenge for the revenge yet seasons where you just can't get rid of people and it seems like MVG can't get rid of Mervyn King. First leg, Mervyn or vice versa. to throw first. Game on. Yes, well, it all started when Michael beat Mervyn at a pro tour event in the semi final. And there were a few words exchanged, not directly to each other, but in interviews there and at the UK Open between the pair. So we could have ding ding round three in round two. But first, Mervyn has to get past the man that I'm informed goes under the nickname Stone 59. Cold, Jason Wilson. Well, if you're not a wrestling fan, I'm guessing the reason for that is because he's follically challenged. 140. Yes, uh, a resemblance to Steve Austin. I should walk out to the... Uh, the glass smashing and have a leather waistcoat on then and come on with a a quad bike that would be something wouldn't it yeah and then play peter hudson so we'd have stone cold <laughs> on the rock very <laughs> good indeed Nigel Haven. or the undertaker anyway it's the king that he's got to deal with here well triple h is the king of kings so we're, we're, we're close there but he 100 it's off the match with the king of finishers uh, the biggest wrestling fan in world darts. He was eliminated in game one of this evening. That's Matthew Edgar. Rotaisky got that one. And Mervyn King is doing a solid job here in the first leg. Mervyn won two games to get to this stage. Jay won three. 
Mervyn and Mervyn King. We've got Mark McGinney on the rear here, six three, and Dapper Edwards six nil. So that's pretty good. And here he is, leaving double sixteen as per usual. That was a very wide dart at double sixteen for Mervyn, and <laughs> that facial expression tells a story. Well, he's allowed the luxury of a miss of such a margin because Wilson is stranded a long, long way behind. 70 and Mervyn will look to put it right by pinning double eight. He's the best in the world at this dot. The the shifting to the right and finding the mark. He's done it for years. He taught that shift to the right to Peter Wright, and he's he's one of the best as well. But for me, Mervyn is the best at doing that that I've ever seen. Former world master, of course, Mervyn King. Hasn't picked up his PDC major yet, but not for want of trying. In fact, there isn't a single current PDC major that Mervyn King has played in and hasn't reached the semi-finals. That's no surprise to me, considering what he's been doing since the mid-90s. He's just always there. You could probably count on one pair of hands how many majors he's missed in all that time. There have not been many. Yeah, the only one that he had, he had competed in was the Las Vegas Desert Classic. Reached the World Finals 10 years ago. The same year that he was beaten in the final of the Premier League. Wasn't that the event where he got three consecutive 180s? He did, he, he yes, finished against the, Darren Young. Yeah, he finished the leg 180, 180 and went 180 in the start of the next one, something like that. Been, it may have even been four. I think it was four. Darren Young, Big Daddy. <laughs> As we carry on the theme. We haven't got a giant hair stacks in darts. But we almost had another 180 there from Mervyn. Now, Jason Wilson likes to be called Jay. You can see by the back of his shirt, he prefers that. He came through Jason Askew, Stephen Burton, who's been playing very well the last few months, Mervyn and Kevin Garcia, 6'5. So. He's in a bit of a squeaky one to get through. He'll be buoyed by the fact that he is here. For 16. 84. And once again, Mervyn King on a finish, on a double, and Wilson somewhere behind. He's just doing a professional job, isn't he? Jay's not putting him under much pressure. 26. So Merv is just plodding along, doing 16. his thing, leaving the doubles that he prefers. And ordinarily, that is double 16 and double 8. Them shots. That was a, that was a push. 12. He will not be happy about that. He did throw that second dart rather quickly. Rather quickly and didn't move back to his starting position. So he had a kind of a, a lesser distance to throw at the double 4, having moved to the right. Could he do this? Irvin King has bad memories of 1 4 5 set against him. I was just about to say that. That would have been ironic. Someone who was follically challenged hitting a 1 4 5 against him. Left yeah. or right, Merv? Left. And in. 2 0 to Mervyn King. Rightly left. And he's left himself needing four more legs. And he is breezing through this after surviving the scare of the 1 4 5. Of course, cast your mind back to World Grand Prix 2012 when. Michael Van Gerwen evolved into the green machine. 83. It wouldn't surprise me if Merv still has nightmares about that game because he was bruising. He was playing so well. And he probably feels that that was, that was his. Oh, Just didn't get the job done. But then again, it was very close when I was in the final with him. It was only 13-11. It was a really close final. Uh, of the Players' Championship in 2010. But the Masters 16. as well, that he lost to James Wade, that was really close. He actually missed match darts in that match. Yeah, he's never failed to turn up for the finals. Just hasn't been able to get over the line. Now, Jason Wilson, the 1-4-5 for him, would have been the first 1-4 or more score of the match, but he managed to do it in the very next visit at the start of this leg, and he's taken this leg to King has been coasting so far. There's a bit more force in those last two darts there. He's just trying to... 
get them to fly a little bit harder. His move. But Jay has made semi-final of the Challenge Tour this year. It's one of the reasons why he was able to go to the qualifiers uh, for this event. And the last 16. time he made a semi-final on the Challenge Tour was May of 2014. It's a long time between drinks. But in between those two semi-finals, he actually made a quarter-final on the Pro Tour. 140. There is my Edgar. He's just, he's just tweeted, doesn't he? Yes. Saying he's definitely not pleased with what transpired earlier. Well, Matt, the thing is, 60. defeat is not supposed to be sweet. It's supposed 70. to be sour. Yeah, he'd give anything to be back up on that stage. He had massive opportunities in that match against Ratajski. Could have been home and hose. Irving King. 38. Well, we'll feel he should be halfway there, but we'll also feel he'll be back. Well, in the 1 4 5, got the first two. Dark one's good. Can he go to the right and hit the target? Can't. And Mervyn has said in the past that he hits tops. 82. He won't hit it if he hits it. We'll go at 8 double 16, Merv. Straight down the neck of it. Yeah, That's a beautiful, beautiful Mervyn tops. King. There's not a lot changed with Mervyn over the last few years. Do you remember the early part of his career well, when he used to wear those reverse. really shiny shirts? I've seen the footage. The purple one and the, the red one. And I have no idea how he used to wear those things. They, they were so satiny. They were like John Collins sheets. Nice. Very regal. All part of the persona. Well, the darts haven't changed much over the years. And he's fiddled about with a couple of different sets. A, a straight barrel with some red rings on it. And at one point, he went to a dart that had lots of dimples in it, more like a golf ball. But ultimately, he went back to the faithfuls, which are the, the swirly ones. Yeah, like the old bamboo cans, aren't they, King's darts? He has been playing some decent darts this year. But you expect it. It's very much like Steve Beaton, isn't it? Those old England teammates from back in the 90s and early 2000s, they have that quality of staying power. Just consistently doing enough to constantly be in TV 92. events and making a great living for themselves and still being in with a shout for titles. Well, let's not forget he won one last year on the Pro Tour. Big James Wade in the final with an excellent performance. Four average. So two. Sun plus checkouts on the table. I know, which, I know which one I'd rather have. Well, Wilson couldn't Moving tuck into to the big fish, could he? So now King getting his knife and fork out for the 1 2 1. Well, Paul Nicholson is frustrated at Mervyn's decision making there. We'll come back to that. But now it's double 10 for Jay. Plenty of room. So are we going to see consecutive bad decisions? Because we know what Mervyn is going to do here as well. 16-14 ball. What he does, double 11. Ooh, squeezed really close. But it was on the inside. He can't afford to miss more doubles. He's got to start putting pressure on King. That's a lovely dart. Well, trying to fire himself up a little bit. Just give it the full stone cold celebration, doesn't he, Jay Wilson? <laughs> I don't mind that at all. I yeah. think Mervyn saw that and heard that. And yeah. he may have uttered his favourite word. Really? Yeah, going back to what Mervyn did in the previous leg, there are shots, and we have had... Well, more specifically, Chris, you have had 67. Twitter polls about certain shots and what is the correct way to go. Now, you've, you've done your 65 poll, yep. which I was part of. I won't tell you what my answer was. But for, yeah. yeah. Get the treble, get a single, get a shot at the bull, and if you want to gamble on the treble, that's your prerogative, and give yourself a shot at that requisite double 
but going for the ball first for me is not correct. That is an amazing 180. Oh, Jim Wilson is egging this crowd on a little bit. And I know a man who's not going to like that because he almost caught for one in the eye there, Mervyn King. Wilson had the arm extended and the finger pointed. And he was directed at the crowd. But Mervyn King almost placed himself at the end of it. I think that was a bit audacious, and it could spice up the cup of tea that is this match. And if Mervyn can just forget about what's going on with Jay and just get on with it. He's looking at Jay's score now. I feel sure he'll go for treble 20. He has done. Double 16. Now double 8. Well, we're not going to get an excitement burst from Mervyn because he doesn't do that unless it's absolutely necessary. But that was a very good shot from Mervyn. Yeah, it felt sweet to him. You could see it just in his face as we followed him down the hockey at the end of it. The thing is, there's no point in Mervyn getting embroiled in anything with Jay. If he wants to have fun and get excited up there, just let him. Mervyn knows from experience that if he just gets on with his job, he's going to win this match. He's three clear, he's doing enough, he's averaging more. He's on 92 to Jay's 83. Yes, his doubles aren't up stratospherically at the minute, they're only at 29%. But for Mervyn, this is about getting the job done. He's doing that right now. Yeah, solid stuff, professional performance from Mervyn King. Each and every year we seem to be losing stalwarts from the game and then greeting more young talent coming through. I wonder how many years Mervyn's got left, you know. Well, there are a couple, aren't there, in action tonight, Mervyn being one of them, that just don't seem to be showing any signs of disappearing, and that's this man and Steve Beaton. Don't even get me started, Chris, on a, on a darts world without Steve Beaton. I mean, I can't even comprehend it. Evergreen, isn't he, Steve Beaton? Always looks so calm and relaxed. Mervyn, yes, he's been around forever, seemingly, but he does seem to sort of struggle through, doesn't he? It looks like he's been in the wars 14. at the end of a match. Mervyn, you require 161. How many times has Mervyn hit this in his career? Not going to be adding to that tally. But he has put an enormous hole in it. Well, if Jay's intention was to try and rattle the king with a little bit of bravado, it hasn't worked. Well, I think his intention was to enjoy himself, and he's only really had one moment in which he's been able to do that. Anything to celebrate here for Wilson? I think Mervyn's done the right thing there by busting it. It could have been a bit... He went for the ball yeah. for that bust and... Trying to bust it on the ball is never the wisest ploy, is it? Yeah, because imagine it if he had a small anywhere. one. Even himself one five. Mervyn, you require 24. Well, back to the drawing board, Mervyn. Double 12. Last effort wasn't brilliant. Well, six, one left. 12. Was he a bit scared of... Jason, you repeating the trick from the previous visit there. Shouldn't the first that was a long way out. He loves double six. Straight down the pipe. Double 19. How does he hit that? 60. So, so close. Well, yeah, the answer was 12. he doesn't, but it wasn't far away. King survived the scare. Having a little bit of trouble in this segment. Now he does get a dart at double three. Six. It's all become a little bit messy for Mervyn. Should be halfway through the final leg of the match. I agree. He'll be thinking, how am I not? Jay Wilson needs double 19. He's got one dart left. No score. And somehow that hasn't clattered its way in. requires six. Right, Mervyn, for your next trick. Two double two or straight in? Two double two it is. And it's nicely done, Mervyn and Mervyn King. King will be slightly relieved at the end of that, but it is a case of him throwing Super for a 6-1 win now. Game on. Not that one for lip reading, I didn't quite catch what Mervyn said there, but I, I don't think it was positive. Yeah, his performance 
by virtue of that leg in large has tailed off to a, an average in the mid 80s so more than enough to have a comfortable lead and be heading for a convincing win against Wilson who has had not much to write home about 16. the brilliant 180 he had and then the leg he won but apart from that not being fantastic no, unfortunately it hasn't 100. one thing that might be fantastic is the next game long awaited debut on the Euro Tour for Glenn Durant the three time reigning Lakeside champion who is up against 25. one of the godfathers of German darts and Michael Rosenauer and I am really looking forward to watching Glenn play it just adds another dimension to the practice room when he's in there and this is obviously Glenn's first European Tour event and it's, it's all new for him but then you look at Steve Beaton who we mentioned in a couple of legs ago he was just sitting on a chair just staring into space like he was alone in the room just having a meditation he was oblivious to any sort of pressure 100. and Glenn you could just see he was thinking about things a little bit more and you know, this is a big deal for Glenn tonight we are going to see him on the European tour in a few weeks as well as this but he wants to make a statement he's already got that title 100. he won a few weeks ago maybe the next step for him is to make a, an even bigger impact by doing something this week well, Durant one of five players 60. in the field to have already won an event in 2019 MVG has done that as we mentioned he's going to get the winner of this and it's looking like it's going to be Mervyn and you've got to say that without a doubt Mervyn versus MVG has got a headline tomorrow night 122. 4 18s for Bull Bullseye game Good shot, shot and the match Mervyn King fantastic way to finish things off in a very mediocre performance for him, only averaging 85 and 20% on doubles. But you're only as good as your last shot, as they say. And that was good enough indeed from the King. He will play MBG for the third time in three different arenas. Pro Tour, that goes to MBG. UK Open, that went to Mervyn King. Tie number three, we'll find out tomorrow night. But stay tuned to PDC TV. We have the three-time Lakeside champion coming up. It's the debut of Glenn Durant. Jason Mervyn, congratulations. Um, th through to the second round, uh, average in the mid-80s, is that something that you care about in the first round or just getting through there? To be fair, it, uh, it wasn't a great game. Um, Jason did play as well as he can. I did play as well as I can. Um, I'm just, just pleased to get through, to be fair. We have been asked, uh, average lag so by 85 points. How satisfied is he? He said, man muss, man muss ehrlich sein. It was kein, kein gutes Spiel von beiden Spielern nicht. Er ist einfach froh, uh, in der zweiten Runde zu stehen jetzt. Second round, there's a certain Mr. Van Gerwen awaiting you. He's be, he seemed vulnerable in the last couple of weeks. That's something that you take notice of, or just don't bother? Just play like I did at the UK Open. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I have said in the second round, waited Michael van Gerven on him. He was in the last weeks a bit hurt. He had a few players given up. And what his plan is, if he has seen that van Gerven is a bit weak. And he said, I have to play like in the UK Open. He had to play like in the UK Open. I wish him a lot of success. The King, Marvin King!